Hey guys, it's Girl Mama Grow. I'm standing in the garden today and we're going to talk about harvesting broccoli seeds. The reason I like to harvest seeds so much is because when I began gardening, I spent a ton of money on buying seeds. I wanted to have the best seeds, so I looked up heirloom seeds. So all the seeds that I bought, I bought from seed savers or rare seeds. And you know, I wasn't really disappointed at all. They have a lot of different varieties on their website. So I just chose things that fit my needs. So because I spent so much money on these seeds, I'm really invested in never buying seeds again. I think it's ridiculous how much I spent. Probably, reasonably, I spent around $200 just in seeds alone. So I'm not growing all of the seeds that I bought, but I don't know, that's still a hefty amount to spend on seeds. So what I do with harvesting the seeds from here, I'll never have to pay for seeds again. I can share them with people I love and other people will get to enjoy these heirloom seed tastes. Right now I'm crouching behind my broccoli plant. Um, I actually had a very unsuccessful year with the broccoli. I think that I put the broccoli plants in the ground too late. So they never fully bloomed a broccoli head. What I got instead were a bunch of these little florets. This whole, this is a broccoli plant that never produced any broccoli, but it still produced the seed pods. If you actually had a successful broccoli plant, you would have to sacrifice your best head of broccoli in order to get the seeds. Luckily, we didn't even have any broccoli at all, so I don't feel bad about using this plant for seeds. This is what the broccoli plant looks like when it starts sprouting flowers. So first it looks like the little florets, almost as a regular head of broccoli looks. And then out of it comes these yellow flowers. Soon after that, these seed pods begin to form. In these seed pods are obviously the seeds for broccoli plants. I'm about to cut open one of these seed pods and I'll show you what the seed looks like inside. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but up close you can see the seeds inside. So I'm just going to cut close to one of them and see what they look like. Okay, now I'm gonna crack it down the middle and hopefully we got some seeds in there. It sure looks like it. Cool. Oh. Okay, well, I just popped one of the seeds out at me. But there is a brown seed in here. Can you see it on there? No, you can't. So, so in this seed here, I'm actually surprised to see that this seed is already brown. I thought it would have been green. Um, but this means that it is further along and this is a more mature seed. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to harvest as many seeds as I can put my mind to from this plant and then I'm going to pull the plant out of the ground. I actually have a bunch of sweet potato plants in this box and they're about to really take over. So I want to get this broccoli plant out so that they have more room to go and I'll have hundreds of seeds for next year. Today we talked about harvesting a spent broccoli plant for seeds. It's really easy. You'll be able to do it. Hopefully we can really cut those costs on our gardens next year by saving the amount on seeds. I'm Girl Mama Grow. Give me a like, subscribe if you found this video helpful and to see more videos like this. Go over to my Instagram page to see daily updates on things that I'm harvesting in my garden.